I recently discovered Warframe at the recommendation of one of my viewers on the Cult Plays live stream that airs on this channel. Upon further investigation, I noticed that our first look at the game was done by James over four years ago. I figure it's time for an update from the perspective of a new player. With that said, I'm Colton from MMOHuts.com and here's our updated first look at Warframe. Warframe is a third-person shooter built around blinding speed, mesmerizing combos, and cooperative play across a series of instanced missions spanning the entire solar system. You play as one of a number of frames, each with their own distinct strengths and abilities. My personal favorite right now is Inaros, a frame that brings a good amount of crowd control and manages to be quite tanky despite not having any shields. The game offers a lot of customization options for your frames as well, allowing you to change all of the possible colors on your weapons and armor, as well as altering the general appearance of those equipments with items. Your frames and weapons can also be upgraded with modifications, which are obtained as rewards from missions or from synthesis. The story centers around the player's quest to maintain balance between the Grenier and the Corpus who are fighting, as well as fighting the infested and contracting space herpes. The gameplay is incredibly traversal heavy in the best ways. There's a lot of climbing, wall jumping, super vaulting, bullet time diving, and action hero sliding that moves at a blinding pace. The best part of it is that you never have to stop attacking while this is going on, which can result in some top quality, maximum hype inducing moments. If you're not used to the controls, however, it can also result in you vaulting off the side of the map a number of times to hilarious effect. The penalties for falling off are minimal though, so it's not a great loss if it happens. The game offers more than a few different mission types, some of which I haven't encountered yet. There are wave defense missions where you're placed in an arena type setting with a computer console to defend from wave after wave of various enemies. There's also a mobile defense mode where the defend point moves throughout a larger map and must be followed. These missions offer better rewards with each set of waves that are cleared, but can be opted out after the first set and each subset after. Extermination missions have you kill all the enemies in a given stage before extracting. The most exciting one I have encountered so far is the survival mission type where you have to fight endless waves of enemies while the life support system of the stage you're on is failing. Life support capsules appear every so often to give you small boosts. Survive for five minutes and you receive the random rewards as well as access to the stage's extraction point. Like defense missions, you'll be able to stay around longer to receive additional rewards. The game offers a PvP mode, but I haven't played it yet, so I can't give you impressions on it. I do plan on live streaming it, though, once I have met the appropriate level and gear, so keep an eye out for that. Speaking of gear, new weapons and frames are unlocked via the game's crafting system. Through the course of the game, you'll acquire schematics for these unlocks as well as the materials to craft them. You simply click the item you want to build, spend the appropriate amount of credits, and then wait for the timer to expire. Then you can collect your item. Warframe features an in-game store that allows players to spend real-world money to receive Platinum, the game's premium currency. Platinum has a number of uses, which include unlocking weapons and frames, unlocking new color palettes for customization purposes, and rushing the completion of items you're building in the foundry. The exchange rate is pretty reasonable, and I feel like it's super important to reiterate that you can unlock almost everything in the game without spending money. Warframe isn't without its problems, though they are, in my opinion, few and far between. The only problem I encounter with the game repeatedly is sometimes the icons on the minimap aren't clearly located, like it's hard to tell where they are. But that's mostly because of my poor eyesight. Opening the larger map clears it right up. Warframe is an extremely polished and fun co-op experience that offers a ton of replayability as you explore missions and fight bosses to unlock new characters and weapons to try. The game offers a very Destiny-like experience, but without the price tags associated with it and with a deeper set of customization tools. If you like sci-fi shooters, mission-based gameplay, and co-op with friends, you need to be playing Warframe like yesterday. I give Warframe for the PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4 a yes, why aren't you downloading it right now out of 10? Well, that's all for today. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe and keep it locked on MMOHuts.com for all the latest gaming news and reviews.